be making bases. What's going on, YouTube? It's your man, Ever J Music. I'm the owner of Be Making Basics. We're back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, please do me a favor and like and comment on the video, and most importantly, subscribe and hit those bell notifications so you know when we're gonna post. We post weekly videos, so let's get into today's video, all right? What I wanted to talk about today is something that can help save you a whole lot of stress, a whole lot of turmoil, and a whole lot of unnecessary worrying as a producer. And what I'm gonna tell you to do is make sure that you bounce down your tracks or export your tracks as audio files um, every time you make a beat, okay? Uh, let me give you an example of what happened if you don't do this. So this is the beat that I have, it's called Roly. It's gonna be on my newest uh, beat tape coming out in April. Um, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of how it sounds, right? Just wanted to give you a sneak peek man i didn't want to you know give away too much sauce on it but the main gist of this is this i came back to my session right where i have all of my midi files and everything like that and i'm so glad that i do this or make this a practice of exporting my files because sometimes what happens is your files will be corrupted so for instance this sample one it has the sample in it and everything is working good but when i take it over here to sample three there's some other sample that somehow got corrupted and loaded into this. So check it out. Like, so that should be that should be playing something completely different. Vice versa over here. That's not the right sample. So what you want to do to change this is make sure that you come over here to file like after you finish your beat everything is good it's sounding good you made all your changes and everything go to file go down to export and you want to um, export all tracks as audio files all right you'll pick a place for for it to go and usually you'll create a folder this beat is called Roly, like rolex might re you know put track outs or track stems Put the BPM, if you will. Create the folder. Make sure all your settings are right. I always put overload protection only on these. And I always do it to 24 bit. And I always put it on a WAV file. And then you just push export. Okay. And once you do that, what you're going to be able to get is all your audio files and you can drag them back into your session and now if you go over here this is this was uh, sample three it's doing the right thing you know what I'm saying because it's, a, it's, it's in a fixed form instead of a MIDI file MIDI files can always be corrupted you see what I'm saying so this is just a quick tip this is going to help save you a lot of turmoil if you get into a habit of this. This basically at the end of every session, at the end of every beat that you make, make sure you go ahead and export everything as audio files. Anyway, that's today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, I'll see you again.